Hey there, Angie. I've got a little bit of shadowing going on. I'm not going to set up a separate camera. I just wanted to do a quick kind of packing the work bag with me video. I know you can see my sweatshirt. Sorry, it's cold, cold down here. Um, this is a Portland leather goods bag. This is in, I'm going to call it the wrong thing. I keep wanting to call it espresso and it is not espresso. It is cold brew. I was hoping a slightly darker leather would work better with not getting transfer from my jeans. And I just kind of wanted to throw some things down for what might go in my planner bag. So I've got this stuff here. This guy actually goes in here. And these guys need to go somewhere, so we'll just slip them in here. So I've got my VDS, A5 35 millimeter manager size. I have my EDC everyday carry 30 millimeter and Stardust Croco. I've got my sticker book. This is from Villa Beautiful with stickers from a bunch of different places. My every minute is a story pen case, which holds Tombos as well. Got pen I need to put away. Earbuds. I do have some lipstick, but I'm ultimately going to make sure I make weird notes for myself. I'm ultimately going to need to come over, and what I'm doing right now is unplugging my laptop. And this is kind of going to go part and parcel with the next video I have where I'm going to talk about the A6 versus the 35 millimeter and kind of having space. But this is kind of all the stuff that goes in. I don't know the size of this particular laptop. Um, at all. I know it's, let's see, is it bigger than my, yeah. So it's probably, let's see, I've got a 13 inch MacBook Air. And this looks like it's like an inch and a half inch inch and a half wider so yeah that is it so this is what i bring with me will this all fit in this bag mm, i hate to be the bearer of bad news but no it will not i can already tell you it won't a lot of times this is actually in my handbag fun fact my handbag while being shorter than this particular tote from portland leather goods actually ends up having better capacity i did measure beforehand so I thought I thought I was gonna be all good because it seemed like everything worked out measurement wise I mean so my work laptop goes in here I, I knew that I was gonna it was gonna be close but I also seen others using the Portland leather goods bags you know as their like planner bags Let's just see how much we can fit in here. Something else I also worry about is like transfer from the leather itself. I mean, it's nice leather. It's not that it's not. I just was really surprised that I guess in terms of like, I don't know, is it the depth measurement that my, my handbag seems to do better? So I'm just gonna slippy slide, drop that in the side. I guess I can just shove this on top, you know, kind of in there and they fit. So this is what would be in my work bag. It is quite heavy. I don't know that I expect the stitching to hold up on this. The leather's not gonna tear. It's a less structured leather, so it's a slouchier leather, which I personally prefer. It's got a nice pocket here, and then as you saw in the back, it's got one nice pocket. So would this be something I could use as a handbag if I were going to replace my handbag with it at some point? Probably not. You can see I've already scratched it as well. I don't even know how I managed to scratch it. And I've just got, you know, got some markings on the front from where I had a pen, my fountain pen. So this, this is what it is. It's actually doing pretty good holding. So I could see it if I just had one planner in here and like my personal laptop in here. Like that, it would be no big deal. I'd be able to zip it shut and all that good stuff. My work laptop, unfortunately, is too tall to be able to zip. I did get this with a zipper. I prefer a zip closure. So that is 
what it is and that's what, what all is fitting in my work bag. So you're not fitting a lunch in here if, in case you were wondering. But overall, not, not the worst. I haven't had the greatest luck with work bags over the years and things to use as work bags. Book bags are okay, but I run into the same issue. The only book bag that I have that works sufficiently is a Puma book bag that I have that is a high capacity bag, but it gets really heavy really fast as well because lots of stuff. My work bag that I got from my office that they gave all of us when we got our laptops has wheels, but it's regular book bag capacity. So it's not even a high capacity book bag with wheels. So it doesn't fit everything that I typically tend to carry. Um, what else? What else do I want to say? I, I really like the bag. It's good leather. I think it's going to be durable. I think there are lots of things I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to see how it works as a work tote. And I don't know, maybe what I will do is if I find a different bag that works as a work tote that's more high capacity, this might just become like my new purse, which I think it would be perfect for. And because it is less, because it is a little bit, uh, the volume it holds inside seems to be a little bit less than my actual current handbag, I might be tempted to carry less on the regular, which I already do. It's just my smaller bags don't house my A6 nicely. So this might see the segue into actually being my purse instead of a, a work bag. My poor fossil bag's getting pretty beat up. But this is Portland Mother Goods. I'm not disappointed in it. I did get it on sale at deep discount. Again, I do just looking at like the hardware that's in here, I am worried I am gonna tear things because of how much I'm carrying. So on that note, I'll catch y'all in the next one.